So I just uh, got a Pimax 5K and spent a good part of a couple of days playing around with it, trying to get it so it was working as best as possible. Um, and I think I have it pretty well dialed in. There's what I've re really learned in the last couple of days is that there's a ton of tweaking that you can do, like so much more than I thought there was. So just to give you a quick idea, um, CPU, I'm running a i7-4770K, which I have uh, overclocked to 40, uh, 4300 megahertz, um, or 4300 megahertz. Now, I know this is an old CPU, but it does, it's been doing fairly well. While playing the game, it was running about 50% and just around 50 degrees Celsius. Now, GPU, I just got a new uh, RTX 3070, and with these settings, I'm running about 82% in the game and around, you know, topping out max 65 degrees Celsius, nothing more than that. Okay, so I'm just going to walk through what settings I have done in each program. So if this is your first time dabbling in VR or maybe you have a Pimax and you're trying to figure out how to get set up, starting to get frustrated, um, then follow these and hopefully it will work out for you. Okay, so we'll start off with the actual Pi Tool. So Pi Tool, um, these are the current versions I have. Uh, I'm sure there's updates all the time, but uh, at the time of this video. Now, okay, HMD, I'm just using a 9-axis. I don't have any lighthouses, and it works fine. Now, refresh rate, I have it 82 hertz. Um, you can set to 72 hertz. Whenever you change that, it's going to reset the device, so you'll see it says disconnected. Don't freak out. It's just basically rebooting. Now, um, Steam VR will also want to reset once you start changing anything like this, okay? Okay, so now it's been switched to 72 hertz. Now, 72 hertz, um, I find that basically in a set of Corsa, it will sit there at exactly 72 frames per second very easily at this setting. At 82 hertz, it will usually hover around 72, maybe go up a little bit at a time. Um, but maybe just having it at a steady solid frames per second is nice because then it's not changing as you're driving. Um, now everything else in here is pretty much uh, no change. Now in the games menu is where you make some bigger changes. Now I have it as normal field of view. If you do large field of view, yeah, it does increase your field of view, but I find that the edges, it's a little bit blurrier. Small frame of view um, or field of view will make it a little bit easier on your graphics card, but uh, normal should be fine. Now, render quality, um, I have it 1.75. Now, that's fairly high. Uh, you could start off by 1.25 and see how your GPU does, how the frames per second is. And if it seems to be holding that, no problem, maybe go up to 1.5 and then keep increasing and see how it does. Um, now, feel or fixed uh, right here, rendering, close. Now, right here, okay, compatible with parallel, you need to turn that off. Now turn off smart smoothing. I had this on and I was having an issue where it would be at 72 frames per second and then also it would drop down to 36. And it turns out that basically what this is doing is it's seeing how the system is doing and if it starts to see issues, it will basically drop the frames per second or I don't know, it was really acting odd. I found out by looking online that this could be a problem. I turned that off and instantly the performance increased drastically. Um, and then compatible with Vive only, yeah, I turned that off. Now with the color, um, pure black, uh, and I've increased the contrast a little bit, so increase that up to two and two. So then just click uh, apply and save. And after doing all these changes, you need to restart Steam VR. Okay. So now speaking of Steam VR, I don't know why this is doing that. What we'll do? Just gonna do this. For some reason, when I click on Steam VR, it uh, really likes to say that I need to install it when it's already installed. So I don't know what's going on, but uh, this will just take a second. Do, do, do. Now you also see that my actual screen doesn't fill up the whole screen for like the viewing, and I'll show you why in a moment. Okay, so I'm just gonna exit this. Kind of a weird way I have to get into Steam VR, but whatever. Okay, so now Steam VR is open, so let's go through that menu. Okay, so you click on these bars up there and then you go to settings. Okay, so now in the settings, I'm gonna go down to video right there. Okay, and in video, I have it at 120% for the resolution. Okay, um, and then uh, advanced super sampling on, okay, uh, overlay render quality high, etc. Now, 
Not too much you have to do in here, but that's what I have it for right now. And this is with the Pimax. Now, different headsets, you may want to change that. Okay, so that's that. Now, here comes some settings that maybe you haven't tried that are the big, the big things that will make a, a difference. So I have an NVIDIA card, so I'm just going to open the NVIDIA control panel. Okay, so I have the NVIDIA control panel. You go to Manage 3D Settings right there, and this is what I have. Now, uh, image sharpening I have off. Okay, um, do, do, do. so here's all these settings. I'm just trying to see which the big ones are. So just see if what yours are at and you can adjust them to match what I have here. Uh, okay, max frame rate off. You wanna have that off. Now power management, this is a huge one right here. Okay, power management is usually on optimal power. Okay, you don't want that, you want maximum performance. Maximum performance means that that GPU is gonna be just going for, who cares about power, we're just going for performance, okay? So that's a big one. Um, texture filtering off, do, 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 do. Now, uh, uh, vert vertical sync, you want off. And I'm just trying to think if there's anything else in here, really. I think those are the, the big ones, again. Okay, but that one right there, the power management, you want that at performance, okay? So that's gonna be a big thing. Now you can play around with all these settings, and then worst case, you just click restore if you think something's gone messed up, okay? So that is another big one there. Now, also down in your search bar, um, you wanna look up game mode. Oh. Okay, game mode. So you see there, it says game mode settings. You wanna open up that, and you wanna make sure that that is turned off, okay? So turn off game mode. Okay, with game mode off, that's great. And then lastly, we're gonna go to our power and sleep settings. We're going to go to additional power settings. And a lot of times it's on balanced, okay? You don't want that, you want it on high performance. So power settings to high performance, okay? So that's another setting that you need to change. Okay, and then into our set of course, and I'm using content manager. Now a lot of these things you can change um, in the game, regular game itself. But uh, if you're using VR, I'd really highly recommend getting Content Manager. Okay, so you're gonna be using OpenVR, like so. Um, and full screen, now for the monitor I have, okay, the monitor I have, it was a 19, oh, what was it, 19, I think 1920 by 1080. Um, and I dropped it from to that to a 1280 by 720. So that's why when I booted the game, it actually wasn't filling this whole screen up. It was only a partial screen. And the big thing with that is that why bother have that GPU trying to fill this whole big monitor I have? Um, so that's going to kind of pull down the system. Now, I'd read that some people said that it won't make a difference. I changed it, and it made a huge difference for me. So you can try it and see how it does. Now, limit frame rate, um, I just put to 93. And, okay, so MSA four times, uh, MSA software eight times. Now, world detail, I have at maximum. Shadow resolution, I'm pretty sure is at, oh, not maximum, but pretty high. Uh, if you have shadow low, say you have it 32 by 32, yes, it's easier on your graphics card, but the thing is, is that I found that while you're driving in virtual in VR, it was, the shadows were doing these weird pulses, and it was extremely distracting. So, you know, I would actually rather bump up shadow resolution and turn down world detail because anything that seems abnormal is very distracting and pulls you out of the immersion, right? You just focus on that. So, you know, um, I would, like I said, if you're were worried about getting that frames per second, maybe lower your world details, but have your shadows high because it was just causing weird, like, strobing effects. It was really odd, okay? Um, reflections I have fairly high because, you know, when you're in VR, you're looking at the mirrors, and if it's really blurry, it just kind of seems odd. So... Like I said, um, you know, having your reflections at least in the mi middle should be good. Um, rendering distance, fairly high. Mirror resolution, okay, uh, again, oh sorry, reflections is just reflections. Mirror resolution is the big one. So that's the one that I was just saying, you know, you want your mirror reflections, like, you know, what you're seeing in your mirrors to be very, as realistic as possible. Okay, um, and that's pretty much it. So. Basically, that's just covering your Pi Tool, uh, VR, uh, Steam VR, a set of Corsa, plus your NVIDIA, and a couple Windows settings. So if you've just got like a, like the, like I said, I've got a Pimax 5K, 
or any VR really, you can go and mess around with all the settings. This will really get you going because, like I said, I found that um, when I was doing my my uh, when I originally got it, I couldn't even read the menus; they were so blurry when I had VR on. It was really disappointing, and I thought it was just a waste of time and money that I'd already just put into this. But really, you need to sit down and really put the effort in to get it all set up. Okay, so um, I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense. And like I said, if you're just starting to get into VR, maybe you're trying to do it on a set of Corsa. Um, hopefully those are some good base settings that you can try. And after that, then you can start to really tweak it all. All right, thanks for watching.